Dear friends, let's love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not know God because God is love. This is how God showed us his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This love is not that we love God but that we that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins dear friends since god loved so loved us we also ought to love one another no one has ever seen god but if we love one another god lives in us and his love is made complete in us this is how we know that we live in him and he in us he has given us his spirit And we have seen and testified that the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in them and they live in God. And so we know and rely on the, the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. This is how love is made complete among us so that we have, will have confidence on the day of judgment. In this world we are like Jesus. There is no fear in love but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. We love because he first loved us. Whoever claims to love God yet he hates his brother or sister is a liar whoever does not love his brother or sister or whom ha they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen and he has given us this command anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. That's quite a bit about love. And th this explanation when I was much younger and I went through it and it's a logical sequence of why God's love is in everything we do if we do it in the name of love and in the name of God it is the reason why God's love exists in everything that is put here on this planet it is the reason why I believe that we are all connected we are as much connected to our brother and sister as we are to anything else that exists in nature when we truly live in love then 
we don't have a problem when we see our brother or sister having a problem. We can talk to them about it. There's no fear. That fear of of social awkwardness and, and everything disappears. Because we know that as long as our brother and sister love us, they will always help us. There's something else that goes along with this. And... It, it's really, really important that because we we hear about this all the time that that and and yet we just ex- accept it. We can accept that someone's going to be the way that they are going to be, but we don't. Add, there's some things we don't have to truly accept into our hearts. We hear all the time people judging each other. We hear all the time that, oh, he did this to me and I will never forgive him. And they hold the grudge. And we've also heard the 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 reverse to, to this, that not forgiving someone is like downing the poison yourself, hoping that the other person would die. We've heard all that. Well, when we look closely into this this passage, that that for whoever does not love their brother or sister, who they have seen, cannot love God, who they have not seen. If you love your brother or sister, you can forgive them. You can let whatever the wrong is go. You don't have to agree with the behavior, but you can allow the hurt to dissipate. You don't hold the grudge. Therefore, if you're holding the grudge, it says here, whoever claims to love God yet hates her brother or sister. Or in other words, we can change that to say, if they hold the grudge against her brother or sister, they're a liar. No one wants to be that, right? Let it go. Those grudges are blocks. They block you off from God's love. Don't hold the grudge. When you hold the grudge, you can't hold love. Put it down. Put it down so that you can hold on to the light that God's love gives us. That so that you can allow God's spirit to enter you. It says that, that we were giving that as a gift. God's spirit. He has given us his spirit. If we hold on to the hatred. We hold on to the grudge. We hold on to prejudices. then we are not allowing God's Spirit into us. We are blocking it. You don't want to block God's Spirit. You want it to move in you and through you. When you open your heart, when you open your heart to God's love, and you put down the grudges, and you put set aside the hatreds and the and the prejudices amazing things happen that god's spirit can pass through you leaving the love 
the love passes through you into the next person. I suppose there, there are some misconceptions with this, and I'm going to get to some to, with this. I'm going to get to some really much bigger global issues around because there are those who believe that they should judge their brother and sister, and their brother and sister right now are brothers and sisters. In, in faith and in God have experienced a heavy, heavy toll. There was an earthquake. They're still digging out from it. They're still recovering bodies. Family members and loved ones are still finding those who are dear to them. Or at least they're li the lifeless bodies that are left. They have to find a path to not only rebuild their city, their infrastructure, the society. But they also have to rebuild their spirit. Rebuild their life with love. Because it hurts to lose someone. So instead of judging them, we should be helping them. Instead of saying that, oh, because they participated in something evil, because they allowed terrorism to move through through their streets, whatever it may be that, that you might think you heard on the news, which... We can get to to the propaganda that that the news actually puts out there. When we move past that, we can help all those around us. There's other things that. that we have other brothers and sisters that have been in a state of conflict for over a year now. Well, just over a year at least. They've been in a state of conflict with their neighboring country because the leader of that country is filled with hatred. But it goes beyond that because the leaders of, of other countries are filled with prejudgment and prejudices against each other. And we need to move past all that. We need to move to a point where we can talk. And understand each other. To come to some sort of an agreement. With each other. We need to move past our hatreds. Our prejudgments. So that we can talk and live in God's love. And that's what God wants from us. We should pray on that. Hmm. Thank you God for sending us your son. And allowing us to, to truly experience the love that you offer us. Thank you for your spirit that moves through us into our brothers and sisters and helps us to love each other. 
thank you God for all the love that that surrounds us and help us to spread that love to to everyone everyone and everything that we touch help us to release those hurts those prejudgments so that we can live in your light and live through your love help us to be one with your love help us to be the people that we're supposed to be help us to be the loving beings that we should be in your eyes Amen.